Okay guys, got some parts in today. Got some brake pads, some drums, some shoes, and lower control arm for that Toyota. But, we asked and it was supposed to come with the lower ball joint, so it looks like we're going to have to order a ball joint for this. So that's kind of odd because he told us the ball joint comes with it, so. Anyway, I'll probably do a video of putting the lower control arm on because and it's pretty simple basic um, you got a bushing on the end this flat end there's a band with two bolts that connect to the bottom of the frame and then a bolt coming through here and then and then your your linkage right there and your lower ball joint there pretty simple job but we'll get that done and uh, Get that car out of here. Sweet. All right. Cheers, guys. Oh, guys, absolutely shitty day. Um, piss and rain. Just ridiculous. Yeah, it's been raining since like nine this morning. Um, I'd like to get started on that car today. Cause I have the parts. Um, but yep. Yeah. So I'm just making me some grilled cheese shop food. <laughs> I was gonna have a peanut butter banana sandwich, but I got a fresh pot of coffee on the go. But, yeah, I don't think a heck of a lot's gonna get done down here today. Um, yeah, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing going on. Sucks balls. Okay, guys, we've started on this uh, lower control arm. It stopped raining out. It's actually beautiful out now. Um, but yep, just undid the caliper. This was actually really, really nice coming out. It wasn't seized or anything, so they greased it up really good before it was put back. Got my mechanics wire here so I can hang up the caliper. And we'll start at her. The only thing is uh, it's got good, it's got good ball joints. So I'm gonna salvage the ball joints and they just actually unbolt they just unbolt with three bolts and I'll be able to bolt it right up to the new uh, lower control arm I've got some WD-40 on the the stabilizer linkage there and well, that's about it got it up on my jack stands and so all it is is these two bolts here these two bolts here, one on either side, and then we've got one bolt back in here. And should be able to drop that and pull it right in, right out. So three, three ball joint bolts and two control arm bolts and should be able to pull it right out. And then uh, I've got new brake pads for it, so be able to do the brake pads in the meantime. Cool. Okay guys, got the stabilizer bar loosened off. And now what I'm gonna do is back in there, the, oh. Almost broke my trouble light jacking it up. Give me a second, I got it wedged up in there. I <laughs> just gotta lower the jack. <laughs> Okay, so back in there, I've got my 17 mil to get the front mount to get the front mount undone. Now I'm just gonna break it loose um, because I don't want to cause any wedging taking it right out when I try to get these ones off. So I'm just gonna loosen that one, make sure it's gonna come out, and then I'm gonna work on those two bolts there. And I did leave one bolt in the ball joint, just loosened it off. That way when I need to jack it up and I can lower it to get the stabilizer bar off without it wedging. All right. Good job, you get to lay down on the job. Ugh. Pull this plastic out of the way.
<coughs> Running out of air pressure. The tank can't keep up. That's alright. She's pretty much out now. Need a bigger air tank. So I'll just get a ratchet on that and finish bringing that out. Okay guys, we got that bracket off. It's right here. And two 17 mil bolts. So now what I'll do is I'll try and pry up that stabilizer bar, take the last bolt Sorry for the shakiness guys, uh, take the last bolt off of the ball joint and just kind of pivot it back and forth and get the rest of that front mount bolt off and then it's just a matter of doing the opposite to put it on. Okay guys we're almost there, the hardest part is just getting this, this bolt threaded back in so it's nice and level and you have to reuse the, the linkage here for the stabilizer bar so that was a bit of a pain in the ass but we got her um, the bushings are actually still pretty decent on that so that's a bonus and now it's just a matter of getting that bolt lined up so it's not cross threading going in getting the bracket on that side rebolting the uh, I don't know how well you can see but rebolting the um, ball joint and this side will be done just slap a couple new pads in that caliper and put it back together and this side will be bonus okay guys so every job doesn't come without its problems now getting that bolt back in okay that bolt that holds that part of the bracket on I was having some issues with that like getting it straight so what I did was I put the, just to make it easier if you guys ever do this, um, I put the ball joint back on, right, and that'll hold it level, like I attach the, the linkage to the stabilizer, then I uh, attach the ball joint, and then what I did was I used a jack to jack this bracket up nice and flat and thread these in by hand, like I threaded all this in by hand, and as you can and you see it turn in there so I've got both of these threaded in by hand and that made it really nice and level to be able to thread this bolt in and I've got this bolt in all the, almost all the way by hand but it made it really easy because this one that bolt there um, on any slight angle it wasn't catching the thread right so by doing all that, I got it to catch the thread nice and flat and did it, screwed it in by hand. But other than that, all I got to do is, uh, this job is basically done other than tightening the bolts, putting some new pads in and they just like clip in and put the calipers back on and the wheel back on and it's done. So... It, on all honesty, it, this is like an hour job, and I'm doing this on the floor. But for me, it's nicer on the floor. I, I couldn't, I couldn't be doing that working up uh, above my head. But yeah, it's come together and come apart and together pretty damn easy, thanks to Impact. <laughs> all right, cheers, guys. So, real quick fix. Um, I was, I was actually impressed how quickly this went other than having to reuse the linkage. But the linkage bushings were in great condition, so that's pretty damn good. All right, cheers, guys. Another job well done. <laughs> Time for beer after this. All right, guys, so another job well done. Um, got it all cleaned up. All the tools put back away where they should be, so easy to find next time. And just got to put that hubcap back on. And then tomorrow we'll do the rear brakes. But that's another quick job done. Yep, now it's clean me up time. 
<laughs> oh, I'll show you how bad the other one was. <laughs> All right, the scrap trailer. Shoes a little bit gone. That's what we call O Canada. <laughs> oh Canada. <laughs> All right. Cheers, guys. You have a great night.